and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we are looking at a 71 plate Optair Solo SR for Herefordshire Operator Sergeant Brothers. The cab area of the Solo SR, many of you will notice it's fairly similar to previous generations. The same switch gear and steering wheel this vehicle has the Optair Eco Drive dashboard which helps the driver drive more efficiently. This vehicle is also fitted with an Allison 5 speed gearbox which is a T3270R XFE 5 speed. It's fitted with electric driver sunblind. Mobitech ICU 402 destination gear, white LED, door control buttons are on the top corner here, vehicle lowerings in the other corner, rear fog lights, headlights, interior lights, reversing horn isolator, vehicle demisters and the check light which is for checking the vehicle's exterior lighting. Handbrake is conveniently situated right next to the driver in a good position. Master switch is to the left of the dashboard and hazard lights ignition and stop start button on the right. The driver has a good amount of space in this cab and somewhere to put their bag. You can adjust the temperature of the demisters on this rotary switch here. And the driver has plenty of air vents, one for the feet and two for the face. So the manual cab window. And well placed mirrors. This vehicle is also fitted with an assault screen. The interior of this vehicle has been specified with Restcroft CT light seating with padded headrests and three-point seat belts. Also features USB ports. In the wheelchair bay we have three tip-up seats. We also have a USB port. We have the backrest for the wheelchair. wheelchair bay is of a good size and should be easy to manoeuvre into. In terms of flooring on this vehicle it's quite striking, it's Altro Iron Bamboo in silver and grey gloss which works very effectively with the colour of the seating. In terms of engine bay access, you have a panel here and a panel on the floor. You also have access at the rear of the vehicle to the heating motors. LED lighting. And this vehicle also features three hopper windows which are quite large. You also have two sky vents 
which also acts as emergency exits. We also have safety punch, emergency exits on either side of the vehicle. down to the floor on the emergency exit. This vehicle does have an, a lockable emergency door for parking a vehicle at an outstation. Overall build quality looks very good. In terms of leg room on the near side of the vehicle in the lower saloon on 6.2 and there still is some room on the near side on the off side slightly more room moving to the rear of the vehicle on the near side plenty of room and on the off side, plenty of room on this side too. The vehicle does have a cab air suspended seat for the driver, which also has a three point seat belt. You'll notice that this vehicle is still badged as an Optair, despite the company rebranding as Switch EV Mobility. This is because any future diesel vehicle sold will still be branded as Optair, and they will have a separate website as well. The vehicle we are looking at is a Optair Solo SR Slimline, model designation SR920SL. It's a 9.25 meter and is 2.33 meters wide. It's fitted with a Euro 6 Mercedes Benz OM 934 engine. And it's also fitted with Goodyear's K Max S tires, 21575Rs. There's no major styling differences to this vehicle since the rebrand. There is easy access to the screen wash and demister motor and headlights which are BMAC LED. You've also got the vehicle battery just there at the back. One revision is that the LED marker lights are on stalk on top of the roofs rather than within the destination box. Heavy duty ash tree driver's mirrors. Looking at the emergency exit on the vehicle. Now we step down there. the engine bay now have a Mercedes-Benz OM934 LA engine which produces 174 brake horsepower and is capable of 750 newton meters of torque. The exhaust system to the left of the vehicle. 
centrally mounted engine and the cooling pack to the right. Looking underneath the vehicle. This vehicle also has LED lighting to the engine bay. near side vehicle and laden weight is 7,000 kg has down the rear axles Overall impressions as you board the vehicle is very smart.